All right, I'm back. Today we are going to talk about our Smoke Aroma Pressure Smoker. Great thing about this, small footprint, no need for a hood in most areas. You'll want to check with your local ordinances on that. Can cook in approximately a third less time using minimal amounts of wood chips. Gives you a higher yield due to it being cooked under pressure, your product being cooked under pressure. Less operator involvement, you set it and forget it and uh, you get a really great uh, flavorful smoked meat product when you're done. All right, so your smoke aroma comes with a few uh, accessories here. You've got your drip pan, you've got your charring cup where you put your wood chips, you've got a T-handle. This just screws in here, this so you can raise and lower your drip pan. And it also doubles as a spit attachment so that you can hook these here, this in here, and you can actually smoke things on a spit, things like uh, sausage ribs and, and other things as well, if you so choose. You have your hooks. This is for getting your basket out, and I'll show you that here in just a second. This is your basket attachment. These shell, these hooks hook right onto here so you can raise and lower these shelves all come off. You can actually build it as many as you want, up to eight shelves. You just simply put uh, the product you want to smoke on the shelves, lower in, smoke, set it, and forget it. So we are going to talk about the basic setup of your smoke aroma. Here we've got our drain pan. We're going to use the T-handle to lower that in. If we're not using the spit attachment, we will use it. We will unscrew it and remove it. If we were using it, we would actually lower everything in with our product at that time. Next, we've got our charring cup and our wood chips. We'll fill in this for this application about two thirds full. And it just slides in here over the element here, which will burn your real wood. Then next, you would take your product, so in this case your basket shelf here, and use your hooks and just lower your product in. Lid on. it set your temperature to your desired temperature set your time to your desired time turn past the time you want and come back to it set it and forget it 